month, it's estimated that around 2 million people have had COVID. And while the stats are always changing, the way we test for it has largely remained the same, isn't it? Yeah, but that could all be about to change. Our vet, Dr. James Greenwood, has been finding out how specially trained medical detection dogs could be the answer to sniffing out a quicker and more accurate result. Dogs' noses are pretty amazing things. It's no secret that dogs will put their noses into anything. Well, here I'm meeting some dogs with a sense of smell so powerful it's being put to use in a very special way. These dogs have jobs. Using a sense of smell thought to be 10,000 times stronger than ours, these medical detection dogs are able to diagnose humans with things like low blood sugar, seizures, and now even COVID-19. Hi, Sophie. Hi, James. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. Sophie Aziz has worked with the dogs throughout their training. Are you a good girl? Are you? Are you clever? Are you one of the clever ones? I think you are, aren't you? When they join the biodetection department, we start them off with what we call early scent training. This is basically they learn the game of scent detection. And then we start to increase the complexity and introduce them to biological odour and increase their discrimination until eventually they can learn a positive sample from a negative sample. Incredibly, although we can't smell it, COVID seems to have a unique aroma. Wow, so I mean, that's, so it sounds very kind of complicated, but actually to the dogs, this is broken down, it's kind of just a game. It's all a game and it's a great way for them to learn and they love it, they come in with their tails wagging. So talk me through what's going on here. So what you're about to see is Millie. She's going to tell us that one of these stands is containing COVID-19. So in these stands, there are four vials. Each is containing a quarter of a nylon pop sock, which was worn by either a COVID-19 positive or COVID-19 negative participant. But it's really important to say this is, this is completely impossible for Millie to contract COVID from these samples. Yes, these samples are completely safe, both for the dogs and for the handlers and our technicians handling them. So she'll be able to differentiate which of those tiny bits of material has got the COVID on it. Yep, and she'll do that with either a stand or a sit indication. That's pretty cool. In just a few seconds, Millie's detected the virus. It's a great start. But how easy will it be in a real busy environment, like this shopping centre in Milton Keynes? We've gathered together a collection of volunteers who are all going to pass the dogs in this real world simulation. If any of the dogs here do indicate that somebody has got COVID-19, we will advise them to leave the area and seek a test. Any one of these people could be carrying the virus unknowingly. The dogs get to work. There's a few close calls, but thankfully it seems all our volunteers today are negative. However, we've asked one of the volunteers to wear a piece of clothing containing that COVID-19 odour. It doesn't take long for them to pick that up. So he indicated there so quickly, didn't he? Is that is that normal for them? I mean, it was literally seconds. Yeah, absolutely. It generally only takes about three seconds for the dogs to search and then tell their handler as to whether that person's got COVID or not. Yeah, I mean, a lateral flow test, that takes well, at least 15 minutes or so. And that's a lot of single-use plastic, isn't it? Absolutely. So how does the accuracy compare between the dogs we've seen today versus the traditional tests? So in phase one of this study, dogs in a controlled environment scored up to 94% accuracy finding COVID-19. That's in comparison with the lateral flow test, which typically has about 75% accuracy. Well, wow, so they're actually better than the, the tests themselves. In that scenario, they performed much better than an LFT. It's a development in COVID testing, which isn't just a theory. This power station in Hull uses the dogs to test around 300 of its staff when performing essential maintenance. Matthew Welch is in charge of health and safety. 
So on a daily basis, they did a screening session, and it was very simple. Everyone lined up and just walked past the dog, just the same as you would do at an airport or a pop concert when the dogs are screening for explosives or drugs. But on this case, there was, there was actually screening for COVID-19. A COVID outbreak would have delayed the work, which could have resulted in a shortage of power to the national grid. But thanks to the detection dogs, things kept running smoothly. Having the COVID-19 dogs here, I think, was in the first part a deterrent. So if people were showing the symptoms at the time, they did isolate because they knew that when they walked past the dog, it would have been in, they would have indicated that they had COVID-19 and therefore would have been turned away from sight. So that was the first thing. Second thing, it was a morale booster, in fact. I mean, who doesn't like seeing a friendly Labrador, or, you know, when you walk into work in the morning? What these dogs do definitely helps to control transmission of the virus and provides reassurance. But I do have a niggling thought about privacy. And I'm wondering if people would mind this sort of testing going on in public. Of course, privacy is a really big issue surrounding this kind of diagnostic testing. It may not work having it in a public setting where people can't consent or can be made aware beforehand that they're going to be tested in this way. But certainly for private events like conferences, maybe even some music venues, this kind of testing is really efficient and should help stop the spread of COVID-19. It's fascinating to think how the future of these detection dogs might affect our lives. And it's brilliant to discover yet more ways in which they're helping to keep us safe. How amazing are dogs? <laughs> I mean, if you think about the things that they do, police, military, guide dogs, yeah. now... Now maybe helping with COVID. Absolutely incredible. Yeah.